In this video, we're going to look at the brain. We're going to look at the structure and function of the brain, including the three different parts, the hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. Uh, we'll then look at the four different lobes of the brain and talk about different brain function that occurs in those different lobes with an emphasis on the areas that are used for communication. Uh, so firstly, the hindbrain, this is sometimes referred to as the ape brain, uh, and this is because it's in charge of those generally lower order processes, still vital bodily processes like breathing and balance, uh, but lower order in uh, the brain power or the cognition that goes with it. Uh, and the hindbrain consists it's at the base of the brain and at the back, uh, consisting of the cerebellum, the medulla oblongata, and the pons. Uh, and you can see this is the spinal cord here, front of the brain this side, back of the brain this side. Above the hindbrain, we have the midbrain. And the midbrain uh, controls some of those little bit higher order stuff, uh, like motor control, uh, temperature regulation, alertness, things like this. There is some processing of uh, sight and hearing that occurs here in the midbrain, uh, but only at, at more of a sort of detection level. Uh, the main part of those higher order functions is done in the forebrain. Now the forebrain consists of two hemispheres, so we have the left and right hemisphere, and these are joined at the centre at the corpus callosum. So you can see there's actually quite a large gap between these two hemispheres. It's only at the corpus callosum that the left and right hemisphere actually talk to each other. And on the outside of the brain, there's all these folds, and this is the cerebral cortex, where most of this higher order function occurs. Uh, the brain, or each hemisphere of the brain, is further divided down into lobes. So we have, uh, going from front to back, uh, the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe at the back. And then around on the side, we have the temporal lobe. So this could sits in uh, just above your ears at the temple. Now each different part of the brain has a different function uh, and or thing that it's responsible for. And this does change a little bit from person to person uh, and it's interesting to note that the brain is uh, such a wonderful organ uh, and it's so plastic in how it can change that if you do lose a particular part of your brain uh, another part of the brain can actually take over that function. Uh, and that's actually how we know a lot about, or uh, a fair bit of the stuff that we know about the brain function, uh, through both looking at injuries that damage a particular part of the brain, uh, as well as looking at scans of when you're actually doing something, which bits of the brain are being used. Now two areas that we need to know about for communication are Broca's area, and at Broca's area is on the frontal lobe, and it's usually on the left side for most people. Uh, and this area is the one that controls uh, basically the muscles in the mouth, uh, as well as a little bit of that breathing, uh, so that it can uh, control speech and articulation and actually making speech. Uh, Wernick's area is around on the temporal lobe, uh, and this is important for interpreting language. So as I said before, that midbrain uh, does that sort of rudimentary uh, interpretation of sight and sound. Uh, in the forebrain here, in Wernick's and Broca's area, we're getting that higher order uh, communication happening. In this video, we've looked at the structure and function of the brain. We've talked about the hindbrain or monkey brain being in control of those essential bodily processes. Uh, the midbrain, which is a little bit higher order uh, in the things that it deals with, including the detection of sight and sound. Uh, and in particular, the forebrain, which is that higher order thinking. We've talked about the four different lobes of the brain, being the frontal, parietal, occipital, and temporal. And we've talked about some of the different functions that occur in that forebrain. Uh, in particular, we've talked about Broca's area for speech articulation and Wernick's area for interpreting language. And this brings us to the end of the HSC course. Uh, it's been Rad, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out forever.